Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. Xerxia, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be a bad rider? I mean... Kinda? I can see it. I can see it. It's definitely not as great of a top lane as you'd want for snowballing this F out control. He may have to hit the jungle really, really early, but Ukiyo, he's already going down to the level 2 as a Firefly. That's gotta be a first blood for... Yo, going down. JG seems quite certain about his Ember play here as Bumpy goes slow top, but Clockwork over as Zade is welcome and a little difficult, so we can't really quite see. I'm just happy the tournament's working out so well so far, although things are not working out well at all for IG Vitality. They will lose their Visage, and now they have lost. Now this Visage could be in a bunch of trouble with the Root into Arrow combo and a follow-up cookie. Yeah, any last words, Visage? Nah, I didn't think so. Now, the big issue with Visage is even if you kill him, one of the <laughs> model with an Illusion Rune ro loaded up and the Mirana sing behind him, he is just fine. Naga Siren, well, just fine is a bit of an understatement. Though SF is ahead now, he's actually sitting on top of last hit. You're kind of meant to do that. Whether it's gonna be enough of a lead or not, remains F kind of feeding. Are close to one another. Which, I mean, on the one hand, it's kind of what SF does, right? It's an easy hero to play from behind, triple raise and everything. On the other hand, though, oh boy. Nice lift on the Emmersburg, keeping him in the. Now the Moonlight Shadow Mirana got spotted out, guess, but guess who did the Rubik? Well, he is gonna go down as he walks straight into the arrow pit. That alone is huge. Ooh, Naga, that may have been a bit of an early Manta style. And you know what happens if you do things before you should. Okay, well, the Naga, it is arguing so much work, even if you die. Okay, Bad Rider is gonna be fine. That drop is still going. Oops. Lanes. And there's the lasso. Nice lift back on the Bad Rider despite the KD. He just gets right kicked down. In comes the hook shot. Ember Spur is still fighting as best he can. And it looks like the next one going down. Okay, Clockwork not quite dead yet. Okay, yeah, that is gonna be SJ dying. Took them Radiance long enough. And <laughs> Looks like Rubik could be in a bunch of trouble. Does manage to get himself for that back. In comes the Naga Siren ulti. With the Rubik though, and now that is the real Naga Siren for sure. Meaning. Death from this is gonna try to run her down as well. Yeah. I think this game could just be about over. As this is F draft, as F draft, it comes to light pass. It. I mean, I don't know. I still think Xerxes, if they hold like 10 more minutes, it's gonna be plenty and. It's gonna be a really insane day for fun with first to get the late game to begin with. And there's the lasso initiation onto the death prop. In comes the nice five second arrow onto the clockwork as well. Clockwork lost in place, getting his armor shredded away. And with a cookie, it is gonna be swift kill, though not the one they came looking for. And it looks like on mid lane, it's gonna be the SF caught. And SF gets hook shot on, but that one was intended for the bad rider or the Naga. And now Naga once again locked in it. With a hero this time around, it's gonna be a hero you actually want to be stuck with, though. Dyer's middle tower. 
Bad Rider. Setting up a fly fly on this summer. Right now he's full well, but there's double damage from available for him. And that is gonna be summer snow. By none other than our lovely Nagasai who comes in with a beautiful song and everyone in our play. Looks like Nagatar is still alive, still kinda through all that. The Shadow Fiend however has died and now death from it. The next one which gets the face man is gonna be dead. Damage though, not quite, and Naga still alive. Still doing things throughout this team fight. SJ isn't that gonna go down. In comes the cookie onto Visage. Visage has maximum soul assumption ready, but look at the damage you're taking. That profit with the silence, not enough to step ever in his tracks. As is that JG gets himself the dominating streak. GG is called, and yeah, good game indeed. Though we did have to wait half an hour for a game that lasted half an hour. And only 10 to 15 minutes were really interesting. IG Vitality, they came super close to their crucial moment. You may now select your heroes. As it turns out, Naga Siren seems to slowly but surely be getting Alan under control. I think a large reason for that is the ton of harass that Bombi comes to dealing, especially that harass being magical in nature. And that is gonna be the first blood getting sniped by Bombi there, who just barely got bitten thanks to the trees no longer standing there. And getting a really good angle. But yeah, you only need to start the right click animation, right? It isn't that hard to like do those long range annoying ass right clicks on the Dark Widow. Looks like with the Rolling Thunder, Lina is gonna be in a lot of trouble and... Yeah, SJ on the Mars, he's not really sure what to do here anymore. It's just gonna give JG a double kill. Xerxia, they're trying to run away with this game. At least the Dark Willow is still very much killable. 300 to 400 gold. That's how much you pay for, you know, the time it takes to go to another lane. It be an annoyance. SJ goes on down to this Xerxia Rubik. Lina dies to that Rolling Thunder, JG. Should be fine even with the Star Storm Nuke about to come off cooldown. That's awkward when you're level 6, don't have an armlet and your tier 1 has dropped. So now they're gonna try to drop this Lifestealer again. Dealing with his magic resistance the best way you pretty much can in a game of Dota. However, an awkward body block means the Kamehameha creep does not come through for the big ball of finishing damage as that really goes down. But okay, JG, as if he wasn't rich enough, gets himself a tower kill. But now they will see Summer. And that's just the Lina locked down, stun locked up. In comes the Rolling Thunder to make absolutely sure this Lina is dead. Lina may actually be able to survive, but no, Dark Willow will finish the job. Bombi, even if he goes down, this is totally worth because guess what? On the other side of that fight, Mirana was caught out. And he got his armlet, no one to change for himself, but you have kind of already missed that timing where you can run people down. You can just force tempo from the armlet. Okay, I'll give them a hand step. Lina once again, that's the one hero you don't want to lose. I mean, this primal beast... And once again it's gonna be the Lina as they carefully camp around the area, just waiting for somebody to arrive and they're like, oh I can't believe it's the carry again. But it is the carry again and now you have got... You can always just... 
You know, go for the next Roche if you really need. You can take it slow. You can slow push, you can go for Roche, you can split push with Unagi. You have all the options as far as hitting the enemy gate goes. 10k gold did absolutely no way out from the looks of it. Fast bomb to try and save at least the one. Pyro Beast has a DKB, turns around with trample, will not stop one kill from Bombi, but is gonna play with his own life for that. <laughs> yeah, that was the lead up falling as well. This could very well be over. I mean, Creeps will take a second to get there, but GG already called. Which, honestly, I can't blame them. IG Vitality. They had a slightly better draft with a harder loss condition. And they still managed to, like, Mm-hmm.